Hey guys, the Deaf Gamer here. Welcome to GTA 5 Online Episode 1. I know I said I'd have a face cam and commentate in American Sign Language, but I'm still figuring out the setup for that. Luckily though I found a great text-to-speech website that allows me to download and upload mp3 files on my videos, so I'll also be incorporating that along with closed captioning and ASL. You're a thief! Really? I didn't know thieves pulled out guns on idiotic store owners. Thank you Captain Obvious. Get the money, wait no don't stand on the counter. Just kidding, I'm still alive. So I wanted to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and has been really supportive of me and what I aim to do here. I'm so glad I'm able to be doing this. My, what a beautiful and calm day here in Los Santos, so peaceful and everything. How can I screw this up? My hand slipped, I swear. I believe I can fly. I'd give that an 8.5 out of 10. While I'm running around looking for a good enough getaway car, I've been thinking and trying to plan this whole channel out. I'll do a couple more GTA 5 videos and start a fun little series. Then once I get comfortable and in a rhythm in the schedule, I'll start doing let's plays of games and going through the stories. Some of the games I'll be doing for the let's plays are The Last of Us, my favorite game ever by the way, Watch Dogs, Infamous Second Son, and I just got the game Dishonest and I've watched Cryetics videos for that game so I thought it'd be a fun game to play. Schedule wise I'm not sure exactly, and I know it's important to maintain a consistent schedule so I apologize for that. I'll definitely try to get a video in every Friday at least. Sorry about that pedestrians. Well, at least I didn't hit Oprah. Anyways, as I was saying, I'll aim for two videos a week if I can. I have spring break coming up in a few days so I'll have all the time in the world to record and edit videos. We can make it. This is clearly going to work. Nothing can go wrong. With my luck, I half expected the car to explode. Thank god it didn't. I'm actually a huge fan of a few TV shows, and one of those shows is The Flash which is about the DC superhero The Flash. Earlier this week the episode had Mark Hamill in it, of whom played Luke Skywalker in Star Wars and was the trickster in the original Flash 90s show, wait hold on, hey sir can I please have your car, whoa, that was uncalled for, all I wanted was to steal your car, guess I'll just have to settle for the second choice. Oh my god I am so mean aren't I? Wait, does no one seriously care or notice there's a dead guy on the side of the road? It's like, oh yeah no worries, this is normal kids, let's keep on driving to the ice cream store. Anyways, back to the flash. It was a crazy plot twisting episode that had me breathless by the end of it. But my favorite moment was when the writers ingeniously got Mark Hamill, who might I remind you, played Luke Skywalker, to actually say as part of the script, I am your father. That was just hilarious and I personally loved the reference they made with that. Sorry for geeking out a bit, just thought I'd share that. Jeez, these cops never give up, do they? Which is hilarious considering they suck at their job no matter what. Damn, I was sure that was an open garage. 
fine, they want to fight? I'll give it to them. Say hello to my little friend. Is it okay if I call you, Joey, officer? Because if you'll excuse me, Joey, I'll just be stealing your car. Oh god damn it, Joey. Okay, I retract my earlier statement that the cops here suck at their jobs. Maybe next time I'll insult the cops after I've evaded them and I'm gonna clear. I really wanted that police car too, it sucks. I'll probably never even see Officer Joey again. Ooh sweet, at least I got a shotgun now. I guess I'll have to settle for this lame average blue car. Wait, what's this? Could this be my luck? A police car, okay, just gotta go at this carefully, god damn it. Wait, he doesn't have a partner, oh my god, I think this is Joey. Ha, huh. I win this time, Joey. Okay, let's take this bend nice and slow. Oh, for God's sake, can I do anything, right? We don't need hoods where we're going. And by where we're going, I actually mean I have no idea where I'm going. To be honest, I didn't think I'd make it this far with a police car. Okay, let's try for a really cool jump in the air onto the highway. And of course I end up descending into a pit under the exact place I wanted to go. My god, this is almost pathetic. No, sorry, it is pathetic. Look out world, I'll soon be behind the wheel in real life in a year or so. Yeah, maybe I should rethink that decision. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said earlier, more GTA 5 to come and also some other games as well. I'm excited to see how this all goes and I hope you're just as excited to go on this journey with me. By the time I do my Let's Play videos, I'll have the face cam and ASL set up, don't worry. If you want to see more, leave a like and subscribe and tell your friends too.